Welcome to Friday Night Fishes number 90. As I said last week, back at it. Taking a look at the new additions. Got some new Tetras. Got some old Tetras. Oh no! I saw, dang it. It's one of the new t Neons. Oh, bummer, man. Poor guy. Well, Corey's doing good. What kind of Tetra are you? Thought I knew. Thought I knew. Ordered some. Not the same guys. Not the same guys. You can see some of the new ones kind of hang out in the back. They like the darker. I do have the... Oh, the loach is a... I think that's... I think that's a horse head loach, right? What kind of fish is that? Who knows? Tell me in the comments. Anyway, you can see uh, some explosive grass growth this week. Um, I really enjoy the grass. I'm probably going to have to pull it and move it around. Um, haven't really decided yet. Just realized that that came unsucked over there. Um, I did move it down as well. Um, I had it all the way up on the surface before. It was kind of agitating the surface and I did like it. Um, but I think what I'm going to do is go with a power head attached to um, one of the two sponge filters. Um, I mean, technically, I have four sponge filters in there because of that power head attached to those. Uh, that is a very low power. Uh, as you can see, it is moving the plants. So you can see kind of, let me see, like these guys kind of blown around in the current. Uh, and you can see the fish all like to face into the current. Um, I've been feeding them the extreme micro pellets. Uh, they just sink too fast. Uh, I, I've never been particularly happy with them. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to move over to the flakes. I have some on order. They should be here Tuesday. Um, there's our group of new neons back there, little tiny guys. Uh, I've been very happy with my order from Aquahuna. Um, unfortunately, that is the second fish that I've lost this week. Uh, I don't know if it's, uh, if it's an issue with, um, you know, them bullying each other. I haven't seen it or if there's something else going on. Um, little school of ember tetras there. Um, a little bit of, I think that's hair algae growing. I'm going to get in there tomorrow and see if I can clean some of that up. Uh, some of it growing on the rocks. I don't mind the look of it on the rocks. Uh, the algae growing there, just that little bit of fuzz. Um, but, you know, uh, I do like the, the clean look as well. Uh, you can see when I was cleaning last week, I, I went ahead and moved the uh, flipper over here. Um, so you can see uh, that guy got uprooted, but it doesn't seem to be affecting it at all. Um, he actually seems pretty happy as far as plants go. Uh, but the grass is getting a little bit um, thick there. So I think what I want to do is move the grass to the back, uh, move the hardscape items back to the front. So the, the newer rock there, uh, this new piece of wood back here, uh, go ahead and get those moved to the front. Uh, you can see um, actually a really great view of the rhizome, uh, rhizome right from these grasses um, growing in here. It rooted back down in, Let's see if I can zoom in there. There we go, focus. Uh, and should pop up another, uh, in fact, you can, I think you can kind of see there to the right. Uh, see if I can zoom in right there um, where it's growing along underneath. So uh, really interesting to be able to see the grass reproduce. Uh, I love the look of it. Uh, but like I said, I think I want it around the back uh, of the aquarium and not so much in the front. Uh, other than that, everybody's doing really well. Uh, fish just loving life. Thanks for watching. Appreciate it. See you next week.